can we expect to get the better start this afternoon? Who's Who's been getting off to a, a flyer in season 2014? Well, Blackburn have won 10 opening quarters and Vermont 8, so there's a slight edge to Blackburn, but uh, for the match, I'm tipping Vermont by three points. Vermont by three as well. So most of us going for Vermont, not unanimous, but um, Vermont certainly favoured in, uh, in the caravan this afternoon for this afternoon's game. O Max Odden will uh, go up in the ruck first for Blackburn. And interesting to see how Vermont uh, shape up in the ruck this afternoon with, uh, in the absence of Simon Taylor. Looks like it's going to be Kyle Staples to uh, take up position. Against, uh, sorry, Ben Dolan, in fact, will go up for Blackburn. So Max Odden was sort of shaping up like he was going to take the first ruck hit out, but of course it will be big Ben Dolan, the former Lilydale ruckman, second year at the club this year for him. Cole Matthews just in front of our broadcast position on the wing. And should be a great game this afternoon. Excuse me, this afternoon. Really looking forward to this one. The siren sounds to get us underway. And it is Staples against Dolan in the ruck. The ball spills clear into the path of Crito. Had uh, Matthews in opposition, who applied a tackle. The umpire pretty quick on the whistle. And he races in to haul it up. So Dolan once again wins the tap down. Taking possessions, Jimmy McFarlane. Bit of a live wire for Blackburn this year. McFarlane has been. Look out for him this afternoon. A lot of players surrounding the footy. Finally spills clear to Mullet. Big high up and under kick from Mullet to the wing position. It's shoveled out then from McCafferty to Chadwick. Chadwick's handball to Prito. That's uh, Johns in fact hard up against the boundary. Lockett, Lockett Johns is kicked to the top of the square. It was uh, to a dangerous spot but McCauley paddles it out towards the boundary line. And that was a good result for Blackburn. Let's cross boundary side uh, with uh, some of the benches for this afternoon. Boys, Vermont is McCarthy, Waller, uh, Barbie, Murphy, so <laughs> they're on Barden, is one on the bench. And for Blackburn, we've got Harkins, Garrett, Loco, and Reed. Just in some matches, Castricum's gone to Hammond, and McCauley's gone to JBU. Yeah, that's going to be a great battle, Sam McCauley there, very reliable defender, of course. Can play at either end of the ground, but he's got first crack at Justin Van Unen to add to his 50 goals for season 2014 this afternoon as the kick towards Fraser in the wing position. Neat kick by Mullet to Chadwick. And uh, the ex-Magpie takes the mark, dishes off the handball. Vermont moved the ball up towards the wing through McCafferty. His best effort with the kick, but it landed. It bounced fortuitously for Henley. Seemed to have a lot of awareness in here, and he was wrapped up by Haddon. The ball spilled out to McFarlane. McFarlane's kick into the path of Banfield, who trapped it with one hand, gathered it in beautifully, bounces the kick through, but it's only a minor score. First score on the board for Blackburn, who are kicking to the central road end of the ground here at Morden Park. And so on the Benigo Bank scoreboard, they lead by one point. He did everything right there, Banfield. Gathered it in one mid, turned around, and looked like he was going to kick it. A fantastic opening goal, and then absolutely scrubbed it. My pet hate to scrub a kick along the ground, although Vermont, uh, a couple of nice kicks, sees them on centre wing on the outer side, which is actually the member side. We're on the outer side this week. I'm going to keep remembering that one. Bit of a contest in shoes, nice work from Bunda trying out muscle his opponent there, Wilcox. Not much presenting, just still moving up, a bit of nothing at the moment. Staples, nice kick inside forward, 50 heads to an empty goal square. Can he send it through for the first? Bounces the wrong way. Vermont leading the race, he's got to get around one. Hard up against the boundary line, McCafferty finds his teammate, can't quite take the mark there, Barton. Spills out, plenty of time for Blackburn to see if they can do it out, work clean enough. First shot comes on goal for Vermont, and it's across the face, out of Parker, missing that one. So one, one point apiece in the first couple of minutes of this one. Excited about this clash. One, one, oh sorry, one behind a piece on the Bendigo Bank score. Didn't quite like that from Staples. Ignored JVU on the lead early. And, uh, they've got him isolated down forward, so you would have thought that they'd try and get him involved, get him in, uh, busy early and try and get, uh, get some goals in him early and get the confidence up. Barton brings the ball back in. He just re rarely wastes it. Ball. Barton really to kick the ball. Got it to McCauley, who crossed it up. Muller. Slick handball was effective to McCafferty who fires at the goals and that's a great kick by Connor McCafferty. Gets Vermont's first on the board and they lead by five points from the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Vermont one goal, Blackburn, uh, sorry, Vermont one one seven in fact, Blackburn one behind and uh, Connor McCafferty has the Eagles' first goal. Love that call of slick handball from you Brad because how good do Vermont look just from the balls in dispute there, they're just picking up, flicking them around and 
and getting themselves into a heap of space, and that's what's caused the shot on goal before, and then another one just there where McCaffrey kicked truly for a beauty. So the first one on the board for the Vermont Football Club, they move on a 1-1-7, a six-point lead. Staples took a nice specky in the ruck, so Dolan will win the free kick. Yeah. Yeah. Kyle Emily's on the ground. Big man just assesses his options, goes out towards Matthews, he's found a bit of space. Inside forward 50, he goes, nice darting pass. Can't quite find a teammate, though. Ball's just held up in space. And that now umpire calls from ball out. 25 out from the uh, Blackburn goal. Throwing up once again. Nice tap down from Staples. They get a bit of clearance through Henley. Kick was smothered. Just trying to push it forward at all costs. Like we said, we didn't want to see. It's a little bit of a hot contest early. Chadwick, his handball was a little bit too hot to handle. Just trying to work it out at any cost at the moment, the Eagles. Blackburn players pleading for holding the ball. It's not going to happen. Umpire crosses himself, says, thanks, boys. I'll have it. You're not wrong, guys. It's just a ton of numbers around the ball. Only about three Vermont players forward of uh, the half-back line, really. Early stages here on AFL game day. It's the Panthers and the Eagles. As the Panthers try and go forward once again, but the Eagles start to regroup. Plenty of numbers around for Blackburn as they try and go forward once again. This time through Brooker. Spent it before he got it. Chadwick gets it away to Mullet. Now the Eagles are flying. Uh, Mullet slipped at the crucial moment. Gave it away to Johnson. I found a bit of space. Gave it you a long way from home in those ugly orange boots. Centre wing out of sight here at Morton Park. Now goes inside forward 50. One-on-one -on -one contest in shoes. Wilcox tried to outmuscle his opponent. Couldn't quite do so. The silky Kyle Matthews picks up and Blackburn are away. They are indeed. The kick was... Uh, was well, eluded Barton in, in the end. It worked out well for, for Blackburn as Rell tumbles it forward. Looking for Hammond. Hammond keeps it in just right on the boundary line. Good pressure from Castricum though. Forced the uh, mistake. Lehman fed it back and they managed to clear Vermont. Up towards halfback but it, taking possession is O'Farrell. Gathers it in nicely now. O'Farrell's kick to a big pack of players contesting. The ball spilled to ground. Walker, did he get a push in the back from Daniel Reed? The umpire said yes, he did or no. In fact, he's paid holding the ball. So that was red hot, the uh, decision then. So the Eagles come away. Barden from wing position. Nice kick for Van Unen, who just got a little bit of a push out from McCauley. Used his body well then. The uh, very experienced Blackburn defender. It's a hot footy at the moment. The uh, pressure's fantastic. The umpires said there was some holding on. Free kick will go to Brooker. So James Brooker for Blackburn. Been in everything so far. He's been busy. He's at uh, half-back position. He just switches to this broadcast side of the ground. Finds Matthews. Matthews kick to Fagan. He always wears the long sleeves, Anthony Fagan. Got it to Hammond. Jake Hammond's kick to the top of the square was dangerous, but Prito stood up really well and held the mark and will come away for the Eagles. Decides to go uh, wide. Out to Henley. Summing up his options. Not much movement going forward for Vermont at the moment. In the end, it takes a decent lead and a great Ooh. mark there taken by Matty Wilcox. Been fantastic so far. There's the ball on centre wing. Short chip kick. Finds a teammate as they just start to prepare things up a little bit. Blackburn's starting to push back. Bernie Deneen having just come on the ground, just assesses his options. Now they'll have a chance to go inside forward 50, looking for the marking option. JB used the target, just spills right in front of him. Chill a chance on the ground. Nice work from the Blackburn defence. Just cleaned it up. Now they're away through McFarlane. Hold up, nice pressure coming from the Vermont uh, forwards. That's exactly what you want to see. Nice and early in this one. Ball up, 30 metres out from the Vermont. Sorry, boys, just again. Kyle Emily is back in the middle. Ball that's number one for Vermont on the team. Three. Thanks very much for that. Uh, Life care update from you, uh, Aaron at Kirby Radio. Snapshot comes up goal and across the face and over the bounds run and out of bounds. 117 R uh, Vermont, one behind, one point for Blackburn in this EFL game day clash between the Panthers and the Eagles. Uh, Grant Campbell with some choose tap match stats. Vermont dominating the uncontested possessions 22 to 8. Dolan against Wilcox in the rough, deep in the Blackburn forward line. Vermont forward line, I should say. Fagan takes possession for Blackburn through some heavy traffic. Got it to Haddon. Out to O'Farrell. He was all wrapped up by Tim Johnson. Just going nowhere after that. It's just on those uncontested possessions. We've seen Vermont trying to chip their way through after they get the ball at half back. Um, if they can't get it quickly on the rebound, they're going to have to do a lot of stop start to get through that Blackburn defence. 
Now indeed, tap down to Mullet. Backpedaled with the handball. The kick came around the corner. Parker didn't take the mark. Chadwick slid it out to Barden. Barden's kick to a two on one contest, which favoured Blackburn. Handball was shot out to Deneen. Deneen fires at the goals as well off target. The ball bounces through, just sneaks through for a minor score. And Vermont are 1 2 8. Blackburn one behind Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Nice, uh, even contested start, exactly what we wanted to see. Looks like Wilcox might play a fair, uh, fair play on this game. As Vermont have caused the inter interruption. Barry Murphy takes the kick on goal and it hits the woodwork. Three for one behind and a third on the board for the Vermont football club. They move on to 139. Blackburn are one behind one point. I think he might have put the moz on Paul Bunn there, Brad, because he took that kick out kick it to a one on three uh, and his teammate was the one, so I'm lucky to get away with just another point. There. You've got to be careful coming out of defence, Blackburn. Yet again, that's about the third turnover a deep inside their defensive 50 when they've started with the ball. Fagan's kick to the wing position, good spoil provided there by Banfield over the back of Barton. And uh, you're right, after you said that, Connor, Paul Bunn's next kick wasn't uh, his best effort either, failed to uh, hit the target. Uh, yeah, some nerves early, maybe. I'm sure he'll improve as the day goes on. Usually a very good user of the footy. Deneen got it to Barton. Mullet, slick handball. Vermont from wing position, very high kick. Wilcox the target, big fly came from Chadwick. Bun shark the pack. Ball spilled out to Faulkner. Got it to Garrett. Garrett's kick from the wing to a big pack of players. Barton couldn't quite take possession. Plenty of burners there around. They, sh they could share it around. Garrett got it to Fagan. Off to Tui. Tui off that trusty left foot. Looks for a target up forward. No mark taken though. Fraser was the target. And uh, Ben Fraser couldn't quite take the mark. He was determined that the ball would not leave the area though. And had Dean Waller all wrapped up in the tackle. Ball thrown up once again. Nice tap down as Blackburn trying to go forward. Really presenting when they go forward, not cleaner so far. Free kick paid an advantage uh, after the ball had stopped. So nice handy, nice handy work there from the umpire, just working in the favour of Jake Hammond, who has his first on the Bendigo Bank score with a bit of a lull in play and just made the most of it for Blackburn's first goal of the afternoon. They move on to 117, still trailing by two points, Vermont 139. Yeah, good bit of initiative from Hammond. Just ball fell to him and he, he swung onto his left foot and, and it sailed through. And uh, he's looked pretty lively. He gave him a, a bit of a pump up before the game, Dyson, and he's shown some uh, some good movement, uh, you know, able to shake off a couple of, uh, of defenders. And uh, and the, the Panthers are really looking for their tall forwards and, and hopefully Hammond will hope for some more reward. He's the new Kyle Martin in my books. He's, uh, he's my boy for season 2014. Back in the middle once again, held up in a tackle there was O'Farrell going nowhere. We'll have a secondary ball up. Jeez, the tackling's been good from Vermont earlier. It's ferocious out there. No easy touches for the the Burners. Just clearing out the Vermont forward line, uh, leaving JBU one out, but it's not going to matter. He's gone forward for Blackburn and Fraser's taken a mark. He's about 40 metres out. This could be handy. After not really showing much in terms of uh, forward structure, they could have two in the space of a minute and lead this one as we tick over 13 minutes gone in this first term. Well, I reckon they've been looking for their forward targets, uh, unlike Vermont, who haven't, haven't exactly been hitting up uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> leads out of the goals. Where the, the Blackburn forwards have been presenting strongly and, uh, and might get reward here. Fraser sends it on its way, sneaks it just oh, over the geez. post and through for one behind. We were all convinced that it was a goal in the caravan, but unfortunate not to be. 1-2-8 on the scoreboard for Blackburn, 1-3-9 on the score for Vermont. That's the Benigo Bank scoreboard. Lockie Johns to bring the ball back in for Vermont. Just looked such a good kick off the boot, that one by Fraser, but um, yeah, in the end it was just awry. Long kick by Johns, big spoil from the back by Bunn. Slick handball from Prido. Driving kick up towards the wing. Staples was the target. S spoil then was uh, by Locko. Bunn got the quick handball out. That was well played. To Hatton. Hatton's kick intended for Garrett, who wants a free kick. The umpire says he will get it. Jeez, he made, he, made him earn that one, Mullet. Yeah, he didn't do a lot wrong, Mullet, but it was a, it was a hard contest and, and probably deserved a free kick. So Nick Garrett, bit of a floating kick. Long lead was provided by Hammond, and he's taken the mark. He's looming large early in this game, Jake Hammond. Just weighs up his options, the left footer. Pretty oh, well weighted pass to the pocket. 
and uh, that was good footy from Jake Hammond. He had the lead on. The pass had to be perfect for uh, Max Odden, and it turned out to be Odden, another left footer. This will uh, test him, you would think. Difficult, uh, difficult angle for the lefty. He's a thumping kick, Max Odden. Distance probably won't be a problem. He's given himself a good long run up at it. Gone right back. Now he comes in. Otten hangs it out to the left. It stays left. Mm. It never looked like coming back. And in fact, he's put it out on the full. So no score there for Blackburn. Disappointing result there for Max Otten, who's usually a, a pretty dangerous kick for goal. But a couple of very positive forward entries for back Blackburn. They've been able to hit the actually hit the target up. They've been going for him as, as Connor mentioned. But to get the marks inside 50, they're just going to start to break it open if they can keep doing that. Pardon. His kick comes from defence in the, in the uh, Barry Murphy direction. Couldn't quite take the mark. Ball spilled out the bottom of the pack and now a chance for Blackburn to regroup once again. Bit contested. Chadwick just bustles through a couple. Gets his handball out to Mullet. Up the line. Looking for a target. It's Henley on that occasion who couldn't take the mark. Nice work to come in and cut it off as Gillings. This seemed to be a bit undersized in a couple of matchups across the ground. Uh, Vermont at the moment. That height of Blackburn really pe pl playing a factor so far? Yeah, probably inevitable when you lose your, your number one tool uh, in, in Simon Taylor. But, I mean, we know that, that Blackburn's got a, a really great complement of tall players, particularly up forward, so that's going to stretch any defence. One point ball game. Vermont leading this one on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. 139 plays 128. Got a ball up 50 metres round from the Vermont goal. Nice tap forward there from Waller, third man up, trying to push it forward. Off the back of the pack, Faulkner tried to pick it up, couldn't quite do so. Blackburn a chance to regroup now. Moving off the back of the pack through Fraser, gets it away to Otten. Now out in a bit of space. The danger's relieved even for the meantime. Brooker couldn't take the mark. Centre wing. It's right in front of the coach's boxes. It looks like it's going to be a boundary throw in. Really like Anthony Fagan's game so far. Just been working really hard across this middle section of the ground. Uh, there's not much of him, but he gets very busy and, and gets underneath those contests. Nice punches. He got pushed forward there from Ralph. And Blackburn a chance to regroup. Just going forward, Matthews. Pushed under the ball. Couldn't quite take it there. Nice work from Parton. A bit of body work. Still just trying to make the most of it are the uh, Panthers trying to push it forward. Now they move it inside 50. Hammond was the intended target. Couldn't quite take the mark. Plenty of Vermont numbers at the bottom of the pack. Kicking it away there was Kastrickham and now the Eagles are clear. Up towards half forward, but charging the footy was Faulkner. Faulkner all wrapped up then. Bit of a floating kick to the boundary with fisted away by Barton. A lot of players around this footy. Matthews wants it, wrestling for the ball. Barton there as well. We've got Barton and Barden for Vermont, so... Try to avoid confusion with those uh, two names. David Barton that time not appreciating the treatment from his uh, Blackburn opponent. Right near where our uh, life care boundary riders are standing. They would have had a good view of that uh, very brief scuffle. From wing position, handball was fed out. It was uh, ill-directed though. McCafferty got it away. Finishes up in the hands of Henley. Henley's kick looking for JU, uh, JVU, but he... Uh, couldn't quite get it to, to at that time. Van Unen, McCauley took the mark, had that kick well scouted. And McCauley's kick to half forward's a good one. He finds Jake Hammond. That's why he's the man. It's been terrific early, Jake Hammond. And he's uh, directing traffic at the moment. Wants something to kick to. Boundary. That kick was ambitious to say the least. It was intended for O'Farrell. Was fisted to the boundary line. Speaking of which, let's, let's cross down to our life care boundary riders. James Brook has just come off the ground. It was a very innocuous hit in a contest. Looks like it might have been a shoulder or possibly a lower body injury, but he was hobbling on the hobbling off the ground. Thanks to Davis Harrigan. Thanks to Life Care. Snap came out of the bottom of the pack. Great work there from Garrett. And that's the second goal on the board for the Backburn Football Club. They move on to 2 2 14. A nice they lead for the first time this afternoon in this contest. 139 Vermont on the Benigo Bank scoreboard. Yeah, textbook roving effort there from Garrett. Just read it off the pack and, and bent it around beautifully off the right foot. But that comes down to the turnover from Nathan Henley. He was looking for Justin Van Union. The kick in wasn't a good one. Van Union was filthy about it. Four rebounds down at the other end and, and it's a goal for Blackburn. Grant Subi Campbell, thanks to Yarra Valley Water. Blackburn leading the clearances nine to five. Back in the middle once again. And uh, Staples won the tap that time, but it didn't travel too far. Bernie Deneen there had his uh, man O'Farrell all wrapped up. And the umpire on the scene to ball it up once more. Staples again wins the tap down. Matthews, very high kick by Kyle Matthews. 
really to nobody in particular, just into open space where Garrett took possession, shoveled out a handball, turned it over though to Vermont. The, uh, the Eagle is looking dangerous through the middle. This is Johns, bit of a floating kick to Van Unen. Clever handball over the back Ooh. from Van Unen to Henley. Big high up and under kick. And uh, it was a poor kick in the end. It was marked in the back pocket as Bun comes away for the burners. Beautiful kick, hits his target this time. Tui lays it off for McCauley. McCauley was cruising past and drives the ball forward. Hammond again set himself for the mark. Odden takes possession, gathers it in now, has a bit of time to steady. Floating kick to the pocket. Off hands, Fagan across the face of goal. Fraser tracks down the footy. Has, well, gee, the Vermont players really besieged him then. He, he uh, looked like he was going to get onto the ball then, but the Eagles close it up nicely and they come away up towards the wing where Van Unen is the target. And it was so. Punch through, nice work there from Hatton to set over the boundary line and out of bounds. So a hotly contested ball still. They did just tick overtime on in this first term on AFL game day. It's currently Blackburn leading this one by five points. 2-2 two -two plays 1-3. Vermont go forward through Preto. Preto up to a two on one and it's going to work out for the two as Blackburn have a chance to regroup. Right on the edge of defensive 50. Short chip kick, gone about four and a half metres, finds Geelings. He just directs traffic and now finds his target. Although couldn't quite hit it with the kick. And seeing it over the boundary line there with Sam Banfield. It doesn't seem like Vermont has that sort of second option, even though JVU hasn't had much of it, at least when they're kicking towards him. They've got to be of an option, but there doesn't seem to be that next player at the moment, and Blackburn's just rebounding tremendously. Staples gains front position, tries to push it away. Nice work to try and get through a couple there. Heath O'Farrell just used his muscle. His kick only went as far as Tim Johnson. Johnson right in the centre of Morton Park. Not really much movement going on for the Eagles. Decides to switch it short. Finds Preto. Starting to become a regular in the uh, seniors here at Vermont. Chadwick. Turns and burns, short chip kick, finds its target. This is exactly what they want. Parker gets it away, nice series of handballs, and now they've found a bit of space. Snap came around the body, up to the top of the goal square. Date, JBU, the intended target, sees it over the boundary line and out of bounds there from Reed. So, just need to make the most of this forward entry. 22 minutes gone, first term here in AFL game day. Punched away, nice work there from O'Farrell. Mullet caught under a lot of pressure. And Tui just wraps him up nicely. If you're listening on afl.org.au or, uh, or listening on 98.1 Radio East, so make sure you tweet us at 40 AFL with all the update scores as you go local for your football. Mullet, Henley, Deneen, how many times have we said that? And he's finished off. That's all class from the Vermont Eagles. Exactly what they want to see. And that's the second goal on the board for the Eagles to Bertie Deneen. 2-3-15. Ah, uh, the Vermont side, Blackburn 2 2 14 on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. And you talk about forward entry, I mean, the Eagles have been getting those entries, it's just been the quality of the entry hasn't quite been there. So uh, it's a matter of once they get the ball inside, they've been able to force a couple of stoppages and, and they've got the quality around those stoppages to, to score goals from them. And they've really looked the most likely from either turnovers or from stoppages at the moment. No real sort of target as, as we're seeing at the other end for Blackburn. Back in the middle once again, Dolan wins the tap down nicely this time to O'Farrell, but O'Farrell's kick's ill directed. Mark probably should have been held in defence there by Lehman, but he had the time to get to uh, steady and hand it off to Mullet. They team nicely now, the Eagles, Milhouse, searing kick from Dean Milhouse to uh, Reed on the wing, who takes the mark. Reed's high up and under kick, big fly. Mur Barry Murphy came from the back then with the spoil. Blackburn kick it up towards the wing position and over the boundary line for a throw in. You've seen plenty of Bernie Deneen, as uh, as we all have over the years, Connor. It's not too often that he has the time to to uh, line up the goals like he did with that last goal. He usually is always under a lot of pressure. But, um, yeah, Blackburn certainly gave him a little bit of leeway that time and it proved costly. Yeah, it might just be a case of, of Bernie enjoying not having to be that number one option. You know, he's, he's been that guy for, for so many years uh, in all of his footy. And, um, I guess he's taken a bit of a, a step back with so much uh, quality in the midfield for Vermont, so he's able to uh, sneak off... And, uh, and kick a cheeky one there. Did indeed. He made sure of it and finished off with uh, the Eagles' second goal. Goal so far for McCafferty and Deneen for Vermont. And uh, Hammond and Garrett have kicked the goals for Blackburn. Their two goals so far. 
pretty low scoring start and yet it's been quite a free flowing game of footy there's the kick forward again but it's a poor kick ill directed and the mark safely taken in defence for the Eagles McCafferty takes the mark in front of Garrett ball will come up towards Barry Murphy so Xavier Barry Murphy just inside the field of play takes the mark now he'll survey his options further afield Not, nothing really to kick to forced to kick to a contest and Ryan Tui this time out points Bernie Deneen safely takes the mark and will steady for Blackburn just tall enough on that occasion obviously both out muscling each other nice mark taken short but a 49 that's not listed on the team show so we'll get our life care uh, boundary riders to check that one out as he goes forward once again and plenty of numbers back for the Eagles as they clear it away with a series of handballs Bredo finds Henley, Henley kicks short kick was intended for Barton couldn't quite find him and now a chance for Fagan out wide kick was smothered by McCarthy inside forward 50 now for Blackburn shot on goal and through for one behind from Ralph the third behind on the board for the Blackburn Football Club they move on to 2 3 15 all tied up here at Morton Park it is indeed as the uh, ball up towards the wing now they move it quickly Vermont Deneen takes the mark he's it's written that one beautifully 49's <laughs> Michael Dunn boys got a little push in the back then from Aaron Haddon and Deneen hands it off to Emily Emily's kick switches play to the uh, true centre half back position where Millhouse takes the mark passing by foot from Vermont's been pretty slick so far today as is usually the case Wilcox holds this one will he uh, get a penalty no the umpire again decides against it probably the right decision Johnson's kick carries over the head of the pack Blackburn should be able to clear and uh, they do so as the siren sounds to complete a very tight first quarter of football and it was a uh, first quarter where in fact scores were dead set level two goals three 15 apiece on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard great first quarter out here at Morden Park and uh, nothing in it at quarter time. Yeah, we'll be right back after this. It's the Panthers and the Eagles here on EFL Game Day. <laughs> 